What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a hardware review from Nyko. Now Nyko and I go way back like LeBron's hairline, and before you say it, yes, I'm still mad about the series. But it's not my fault LeBron's hairline goes in and out of retirement so much it makes Jay-Z look good. Welcome back to Potential Perfect Home of the World's Most Fantastic Oracle Gamers. My name is Delapo, and today we're doing a hardware review. Now, the Switch has a handful of common complaints, one of which being its battery life. Currently, you can get anywhere from 2.5 hours to 6 hours on one battery charge. While I find this to be just fine, I can definitely see why other people have an issue with it. Um, that all being said, I think it is worth noting that Nyko currently is part of a class action lawsuit regarding one of its portable docks. Um, the while Nintendo hasn't, you know, put anything out other than, you know, to stay away from third-party docks, um, this device does power your Switch, so keep that in mind um, and use your own discretion. So, let's get right into it. The power pack comes with a power pack itself, being the battery charger, and the USB Type-C cord, um, just in case you weren't drowning in those already. Feature-wise, the Nyko Power Pack sports an impressive 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, for reference, the Switch has a 4,000-ish uh, internal battery, so it's like having a second battery to work off of. At least it would seem so, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, it also features a reinforced kickstand, and honestly, everything is better uh, with a better kickstand. I mean, if you, if you know about the current Switch uh, kickstand, you'll know that it's uh, pretty flimsy. So, it's, it's nice to have this, I, I guess, but I wouldn't buy it just for the kickstand. As far as pricing goes, the Nyko Power Pack will set you back about $30 on Amazon. However, I picked it up at Toys R Us during a liquidation sale and got it for about 30% off. Your results may vary, but if your local Toys R Us still has one, I think that would be the place to get one if you so choose. So now it's time to talk about its performance, and it does its job. It literally is an extra battery. Now, it's not something that you'll find charges your Switch uh, particularly well. No, it's more or less a sustain than anything, which I think, if that's what you're looking for, that's perfect. Um, the power pack itself charges relatively quickly. I didn't see any issues with that, and what it does have is a nice little indicator on the back to see to show you how much um, power you actually still have in it. Assembly-wise, it's very easy to put together. There are some little latches on the back that you pull apart to free your switch, um, if anything. I do want to note that it does add a little bit of weight. Like you can feel uh, the weight it adds to your switch, but honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, in fact, due to my hands being a little bit bigger, it does make the switch in handheld mode a little bit more comfortable to hold. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe, leave comments, like or dislike it if you liked or disliked it. <laughs> and as always, um, every month we have new and awesome stuff in our merch store, so make sure to check that out in the link below. Any little bit helps. If you even want to download the Brave browser, if you can't donate monetarily, that helps us as well. Stay perfect.